then the terabyte is uh, 1000 GB, 1000 GB we call it as a terabyte and uh, this is a very uh, old slide basically, so some of the differences currently might not be true, but uh, at a very uh, high level, Teradata the parallelism is unconditional, you are not defining or putting the constraint on the parallelism thing, unconditionally it is parallel and it is suitable for decision support system and data warehouse, OLAP systems, that's what we said. And uh, the major difference is shared nothing architecture. So if someone asks you what is the major difference between Teradata architecture and other architecture, this is the one thing we expect, shared nothing architecture. What exactly shared nothing architecture means? Is in this, if you see the uh, this associated with each and every AMP, right? AMP one is associated with this disk, AMP two with that, AMP three with that, and AMP four with that. So the disk associated with AMP one will never be shared with any other AMP or shared across any other AMP. Whatever the AMP is responsible or associated with the disk, only that AMP can process the disk data. The disk data will never be shared across any other end. That's the reason we are saying it's a shared nothing architecture. The data is not shared across the apps. If it wants to access the other AMP data, basically internally we do data replication. That means copy the data or redistribute basically. The data is dis distributed in this fashion. But if some other AMP wants it, then we can redistribute the data. But it will never be shared across the app. That is shared at the architecture. It supports terabytes of data and then uh, index usage. Uh, basically index usage in any database, right? It is basically for fast retrieval. So in Teradata, it is uh, useful for fast retrieval as well as for uh, better storage. We are seeing a good distribution of data, right? That is basically because of an index mechanism. So, index is basically both for efficient storage as well as fast access. And obviously, it can handle billions of records. And uh, from the capacity perspective, right? The data it can handle uh, billions of records, process billions of instructions per second. And parallel processing, it's uh, the key fundamental feature of Teradata RDBMS, which makes faster than any other RDBMS, any other relational database systems. It's a single data store that can be accessed by uh, uh, it can be accessed by two different types of uh, systems. One is a travel attack system and the other is a network attack system. Travel attack system is a main trip and all of the systems come under the network attacks like uh, Unix, Linux, Windows, Solaris, all of these comes under the network attacks and channel attacks is a main trip. And the data integrity, uh, data integrity is basically uh, it's stopped in any database and even in Teradata. So any transaction, if it happens, right, either it should be complete or it should get rolled back to a previous safe stage. That's what data integrity means. So that is possible even in Teradata as well. And uh, from the fault tolerance perspective, right, it can automatically detect and recover from some of the failures in Teradata system. And the scalable growth, it allows the expansion without sacrificing the performance of the system. As I said earlier, right, currently I am having two nodes, but uh, if I want to add some additional nodes, right, what will happen? The performance of the system will be doubled. It is linearly scalable. And SQL is the structured query language to access the Teradata server. Uh, what is the uh, network attached and channel attached? 
चारना का जिसे मेन फ्रेम लाइट ओके देखो क्या क्या जिसका विंडोस 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 का सोलर है ओके सपोज इफ यू अपने डेटा सर्वर जो इज लिनक्स बॉक्स ओके बट फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट साइड यू नीड इन सम विंडोस एनवायरनमेंट टू कनेक्ट योर लिनक्स डेटा सर्वर Okay. So the Windows system is a network attached. Oh, okay. So basically, the database server will be on Unix, uh, but uh, when the client system is installed, the client system is basically a Windows uh, operating yeah. system. Then it is a network attached, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Similarly, if you want to submit some tab jobs using a mainframe client, so in a mainframe environment, you will submit the jobs to the database server. Any that's possible. So the main thing is to use the channel like that. Okay. So that the uh, batch processing, what do you mean by the batch processing? No, no. That, like if you want to uh, schedule some jobs, which is okay. Yeah. Okay. So even through main thing in your admin also, you can connect to the data server. So the main thing in your admin is called as a channel like that. Okay, okay. And that's called operating system comes under the network attached. So mainframe in the sense like the client systems are uh, mainframe systems you are saying? Yeah, the client applications. Oh, okay. So in, in both the environments like the channel attached and the, in the network attached both uh, in both the I mean, types like uh, the server is on unique only right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mostly to the Linux. Earlier it was NPS. It's a flavor of Linux operating system, but most ninety plus customer ninety percent plus customer support and they are even Linux. Okay. Or oh, we can run it on Linux also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the earlier that server is basically run on Linux systems. Right. Earlier it was NPS. Okay. But now most of them are running on Linux environment. Okay, okay. And uh, from the generate a content perspective, right? So this is what initially we will uh, we just discuss basically the history of Teradata, the basic introduction of Teradata architecture. Then that is the uh, internal component basically, how they work and how they behave, what exactly parsing engine contains, what exactly the app uh, performs, what is the functionality. And uh, as I said, SMT, single node, right? Spelled data runs in a single or a multiple node. Single node is called an SMT, symmetric multiprocess, and multi node is called as an MPP, massive parallel processor. So, Teradata is an MPP architecture, massive parallel processor. Other kind of MPP databases in the market currently are Oracle Exadata, then Megiza, HP Geo. So, if it's on a single node, what do you call? Symmetric multiprocessor, SMP. Symmetric multiprocessor, okay. Yeah. If it's more than one, we call it as MPP. Massive value. Okay. Big data hadoop. Those are all MVP architectures. Then comes uh, the different kinds of uh, discovery and production mechanisms in Teradata. The usage of callback. The logs concepts and then the general concepts implemented in Teradata. Then comes the technical thing. The different types of indexes available in Teradata. Then uh, the data storage and retrieval part. How the data gets stored in the system and how do we uh, it, uh, like uh, how exactly the data gets stored in the system. The hashing algorithm thing. And then comes the SQL part. The DDL, DML and the DCL and then uh, the string functions, 
ALU functions, arithmetic, arithmetic functions, and then OLAP functions. Different types of functions available in your data. Then comes the joint strategies and types. How exactly different kinds of joints work in your data environment. Then some external commands. And then we have some different types of objects. Tables, views, backgrounds, purposes, and triggers. And then comes a little bit of DB activity. Since we will be practicing on the Teradata demo version, right? Initially, we need to create some databases so that we can practice operation of other objects. So for that, we need some uh, DB activity from the space management perspective. How much space should be allocated from those things? So it's basically a DB task in the real time. But for us to practice it, we need to even know those things. So we will be covering a little bit a uh, DBA part. The space management and then the grant access report commands. Then the uh, transactions, how the transactions are executed. Single transactions and multiple transactions through a batch process. Submitting batch uh, tasks to a data server, those things. And then NC mode and Teradata mode. What's the difference and what will be the difference in the result? Then comes the uh, performance tuning part. What are the best practices need to be followed while we are executing some task or a data server? Those things. Mostly it will be from SQL perspective, performance tuning. And then the utilities. We take export, import, fast load, fast export, multi load, t and and TPT. So currently most of the export import will be performed by TPT, Teradata Parallel Transporter. It's a GUI based tool where it has replaced all the standard only utilities in Teradata. Earlier we used to write some uh, script actually to write some to perform some load or uh, export, but now it's a GUI based tool. Just drag and drop the parameters which objects you want to perform, it will generate an auto generator script and then run. And yeah, that's from the utilities perspective. And then some additional uh, uh, topics in the latest version. So no, no primary index, temporal, columnar, scalar, subquery, those things. So this is what we cover in general in data training. Any questions, sir? Uh, actually, this what is about the T pump and fast export like uh, loads? Uh, basically, like they are used. To, uh, we need to do some programming or like any what? What do you mean by that? Uh, those are standard utilities. We need to write this script actually. Oh, okay. So CPT is uh, a GUI-based tool which will generate the steps. Okay. You can perform it in two ways. You can write a uh, script again for that or else you can do it with a GUI-based tool. Okay, okay. Okay, okay.